Hello, my name is Second, and we are playing Enigmatica 6. And uh, today, we're going to melt down some spider eyes. Uh, throw them right in here. Cook them down. And we ought to get some venom. Yeah. Very nice. Alright, we got a uh, little over six buckets. Now the next thing we're going to need is going to be etching acid. And it looks like the only way to get that is with a PCB. But what do you get <clears throat> if you lube up an iron bee, shove it inside a pneumatic helmet, and toss it in a pressure chamber? Well, let's see here. PCB. Uh, this is what's going to teach us how. Pressure chamber. Okay, so we need an iron bar, we need some lubricant, and a pneumatic helmet. That shouldn't be hard. Iron B, I should say. Um, let's look at lubricant first. Now, this is something we can make in our thermonomatic processing plant. Is that what we have over there? I feel like that's what we have. I'm saying our. I don't even know if it's really the thing that... Uh, yeah, okay. One thermoneumatic processing plant. And we can get, so we could do it with biodiesel. All those different kinds of biodiesels. Or all these other kinds of diesels. Do we have diesel outside? I think we do. I feel like that might have been a product of, like, maybe this first thing here. Yeah! Awesome. So I guess what we're going to do is we're going to take this and this and we're going to, not the wand of the forest, the configurator, we're going to throw some redstone in here, temperature, we need a higher temperature, so there are these heat pipes. Let's see what we can learn over here. Hmm. So I think one thing we might be looking for are heat pipes. I don't know if we have any, but we're about to find out. I feel like we might have gotten some. Oh, we've already made these. Okay, we just need some compressed iron. So what I think we're going to do is try to connect, uh, were we putting magma back here? Is that what we were doing? Let's see if we can come up with something else here. Now also, we had in here, in addition to the heat pipes, we had uh, a vortex tube, which, uh, let's see what that's all about. Okay, it's pressure tubes, copper, and compressed iron. That's not bad at all. We had a couple of them lying around. Well, I think if we put this thing here... It's definitely making some... Oh, we've got two of them here. Uh, now let's see, is that heating this up? Well, it's a 26. Maybe we should be spinning this thing around? See, I don't feel like it's connecting to the pipe. Let's try like so. Oh, that doesn't look right. How about like this? That doesn't look right. Like this? That looks right. Okay. Ah, yeah. Now we got some heat. And it's given us some lubricant. Now, my understanding is we want to put a heat sink on this thing. You know, I wonder. <laughs> Let's 
Let's put it. Let's let's make a heat sink real quick and put it on that thing. I'm worried that it's going to blow up. Um, but I wonder if we could use it or heat pipes to. Uh, make pressure with. Um, let's see, the heat sink, not so bad. We just need some iron bars. There we go. Let's run over here. Okay, that should keep it from getting too terrible. Next up, we're going to need to make one of these assembly systems. And I guess that starts with an assembly controller. So let's see. Assembly I.O. unit, drill, laser, controller. It's a mechanical crafting recipe. We're going to need a pneumatic dynamo, huh? Converts compressed air into forge energy. OK. Looks like a lot. Um, so I guess let's start with it, huh? We'll start with a pneumatic dynamo. See what we're going to need to make that. I just have it. Oh, we're going to need turbine blades. All right, let's get the turbine blades going. And of course, the fuck's dust. Oh my god, would you look at these guys? It's got to be that, uh, the slimy grass. Oh boy. Let's get rid of that. Here it is. Boy. What all do we lose over here? A couple things. Oh, well. Let's find out. Put that right there. Can I hook up pressure to it? Sure can. But both sides are sinking. I wonder if it's because I've got it facing the wrong way? My wrench. Hmm. Oh, for crying out loud, really? How do you place this thing? Maybe from this side? Oh, that's not it. Let's see. If we... Okay, now at least it's facing the right way. So let's see if either of these will start going up. Doesn't look like it. What if? Took this thing and put it over here, right? Uh, what about a heat pipe? Connects to it. So let's see. Now. I don't think, I don't, I think it has to be blocks. Now, I don't mind telling you, I'm getting tired of uh, moving magma and liquid starlight around. So I wanted to take a look at, uh, that's right, this liquid compressor. I think we know how to do all of this except the supplementary bellows. That doesn't look too bad. So let's see. If we've got any, oh, we already have a liquid compressor. 
Interesting. So these are our available fuels. <laughs> it's like a refined fuel, liquid ethylene, and LPG are all pretty good. I wonder how uh, gasoline is pretty good. We have gasoline. This is it up here. Right? Right. Now my hope is this will work off the same principle. And we'll shut down. Boy, that's already building up pressure? Have liquid in it? That's interesting. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, pipe some gas into here. Okay, that moves along. How fast is it burning through it? Enable. I think it's it's low signal that we want. So if it gets a high signal, it'll stop. We shall see. All right, we got our turbines. So now we should be able to make our new our uh, pneumatic dynamo here. Should be trucking right along. Watch it here. All right, last piece, the monitor. Oh, that's not bad. The information screen, okay. Machine base. We need advanced PCB and what was that? Invar nuggets. Easy. All right, there's our machine base. There's a quest. Okay. There's our information screen. I think we need some more aluminum. Sheet metal slabs. There we go. There we go. Yeah, this all looks fine. It's sitting right at 4.5. Anyway, I'm going to go uh, put this thing together. All right. The monitor. We got these things. I want to say this thing right here. Let's, uh, I had to remove mechanical crafters to make this shape. So let's use the wrench, get them all pointed in the right direction. I think we might have a shaft. Oh, we do not. Okay, let's see if we got this right. This stuff's moving around. Hopefully. Yes! All right, there's the first piece. We're also gonna need, I think we're gonna need a, a laser. Yeah, export, import, and a laser. Okay, let's see uh, what's all involved. Well, here's our import. That's just a recrafted export. Uh, oh, I see. It's a mechanical crafting recipe. Oh, more pneumatic dynamos, huh? All right, looks like all in all, we're going to need three pneumatic dynamos. So that's going to be 18 uh, rotor blades that we need. 
Uh, next on the menu is this uh, this assembly laser. That's the same basic idea. Um, the uh, crafters are in a bit of a different shape. I might not even have them right. Yeah, I gotta switch the top. Okay. Okay, that ought to do it. I think it's the pipes. We've got some of these cylinders, which I did make a recipe for. They're not that bad. I think we got these from our villagers, though. I'll put those in. And we had one of these rods lying around. We got, uh, I think, the dynamo right there. And we got a recipe. Alright, all these recipes for this assembly stuff seem to work on this, uh, this general principle. You build the shape of it, throw some similar components in. Now we're going to make the, uh, the inputs and outputs. I think we can do this one twice, and then just like craft it with itself. To make, uh, like, if this one is the output, I don't know if it's the output. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna, what was the other part? Oh, the hands, of course. And I think we can just craft this with itself and make the other one. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, that'll turn it. Okay, nice. I think the last thing we need is this assembly platform. This, this one's a little different. Got to move some crafters around. Alright, now I think what happens here is once we hook this up to compressed air, um, this, the import, will see something here. Put it on the uh, platform diagonally. The laser will do its thing, and then the export will put it in the chest. Maybe. <laughs> uh, that's not all. Um, we're going to need two more things. We're going to need this assembly program for the laser. So let's uh, let's go for that first. Assembly program laser. Okay, so we're supposed to be able to get that out of our tablet. Let's get some emeralds. Uh, there's nothing in here. Uh, do I have it on me? Yes, I do. Let's see. There's the drill. Drill and laser. Laser. I think this is what we want. What are items in the basket? That's right. You gotta use the chest out here. Seems like so long since I used this thing. Thank you. Self-destructive. Okay, so first things first. Let's uh, let's give it some pressure here. Huh. We'll go up a little bit. Huh. I want room for a tank there, I think. Oops. Huh. And here we go. There we go. Huh. So let's see, we put this program in, I think. Okay, it turns out we're also gonna need a drill. But we can handle that. Another thing we're gonna need, apparently, is a diamond drill bit. So let's, uh, what do we need here? We need a block of diamond. And we need some of that lubricant. Where did I put it? I think we're just.
just going to scoop this in manually. Buckets. And then I guess we just put the diamonds here. Probably need heat, huh? Let's see. Need to be 500 Celsius, sure. No problem. If we can keep it up, it looks slow. Better go get some more magma just in case. Okay, the problem is it doesn't think it has enough pressure. It's got 4.5. Um, we're going to risk letting it go a little bit over that. Okay, now it's working. As soon as it's done, we're going to put the redstone back down, and that should shut this off before it hopefully gets too high pressure. Four point six three. Hopefully we can use some up soon. Okay. Should be one drill. So we need to build this uh one of these assembly packages. And what we need it for is the helmet. So pneumatic helmet assembly package. Okay, there it is. Okay, so this will be uh, a sequenced assembly through, oh boy. What, do you just smash it four times? That doesn't look bad. What's this hazmat helmet? Okay, a little fabric, a little iron, a little glass. Oh, that's the last piece of fabric. Oh, it's not so bad. We might have a recipe for rubber. Yeah. There's our hazmat helmet. Now for... Okay, there's one compressed iron ingot. Probably four. You know, I was out at the windmill and like... We're going to set different things up, but I'm massively overcomplicating this. We need to do this once. So let's see. Okay, this is what we're trying to make, the compressed iron helmet first. We need this, some compressed iron, five compressed iron to be precise, and we need to give it a couple of whaps. So... Let's take this outside. Let's see, we'll give it one, and should do it three times, right? And stop, put it right back here. Yeah, okay. So, one of the pieces of the puzzle with this mod that I was missing is that this stuff only works with valid recipes. It will also work for any valid recipe. Like, like this thing needs to be hit three times. Um, so for each of those, there is uh, another valid recipe. And when there's no more valid recipes, it doesn't work. You don't need multiples of these. Um, Just kind of do it like this. One compressed iron helmet. Awesome. Let's see here. We got air canisters. We're going to need six of those. We're going to need a cardboard box. And we got the sawdust. We're going to need... Printed circuit board? I think we have some. We sure do. So can we just make it? 
Yes, we can. Back to this thing. So we got, okay. What we need, we got the assembly program drill in here, right? Yeah. So what happens, it's got pressure. What happens if we put it in here? Oh. It's up to something. <laughs> it's not super fast, but uh, <laughs> it's definitely doing a thing. And now it's done drilling. So this thing should pick it up and put it in the chest. Okay, that's how all this works. Now once all this is finished, we're gonna change out the drill and the program for, uh, for laser and laser. I ended up with two drills somehow, but that's easily fixed. So let's do just that. And take drill out, laser in. Will it recognize? Are we even doing it right? Let's see. Assembly program, laser. Use up all its pressure, maybe? says it's resetting. Problem. Add one assembly drill. Is it an assembly drill again? It says it's a laser. Whoops, that's not right. Let's uh, when in doubt, pick it up and put it down again. No problems. Oh, that worked. Awesome. There it is. At long last. The pneumatic helmet. So you can add upgrades to it. It makes you like Iron Man. What are we going to do with it? We're going to smash a B with it. Got an iron B. And what we're going to do with this thing Take a bucket of lubricant, that helmet, this helmet, and this B. Where's our lubricant? Plastic, LPG, venom, lubricant. Boom, boom, boom. All right, it has to be exactly 4.5 bars for this to work. Tempted to shut the redstone off. Just a moment. I think it just did it. Hey, hey! Now, because of course we're not. There's, there's, we're, we're, we're not done. There's one more thing we need to do. We need some of these cons we need some of these plastic construction blocks because that's what it uses as flower as uh, flowers. So okay, so they're not that hard to make. <laughs> I thought it was the beginning of a whole new rabbit hole. It's like oh no. Okay, so let's see. Can we, what kind of dye do we have? Purple. Purple plastic construction bricks. I don't know if I mentioned, I did add another apiary to uh, our, our processing hive here. So 
So let's, uh, I want to get this thing in the BPedia first. Let's do that. Come in here. There we go. Come here. So this thing, processing the honeycombs, will give us the, the fluid that we need to combine with the venom to make, oh, I can't remember, etching acid, which we want to combine with the venom to get this virulent mix. And I see it's added by the undergarden. I hope there's not a much easier way to get this that we just didn't, didn't know about. Is there another way to get it? I hope it's not the undergarden's water. <laughs> I'd feel really silly. Uh, anyway, we got the B. Um, and this virulent mix is going to allow us to make, uh, not that. It's going to let us make those things from occultism. Yeah, here we go. 4,000 buckets in a spirit attuned gem for one spirit attuned crystal. So, you know, fortunately, like for every bucket of each, we're going to get two buckets worth. So if I have, what, six, how much venom do we have? Six buckets of venom. If we can get six buckets of that etching acid will be in great shape. And that's where I'm going to leave it for now. We're going to come back in the next episode um, and uh, hopefully make some progress in that direction. I've also got some building that we want to do now that we're starting to get close to catching up to where we were before the switch to expert mode. So thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.